Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new WordPress package. Now, at this point in the video, I've already gone ahead and purchased a new WordPress package, and I'm now at the point where I can start setting it up by the interface shown on screen right now. If you follow the purchase path through its natural course, you will also end up at this page. And I'm now into the kind of setup wizard for the initial stages of setting up WordPress. So I'm going to opt to set up my website in the big blue button. So now it's asking me what domain name do I want to use? Well, in my case, I want to register a brand new domain name for this. So I'm going to register the domain name fhtechtips-wordpress-hosting.co.uk doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, so I definitely recommend you pick a domain that is definitely relevant to you and also looks nice and is easy to say it. That's that's all all part and parcel of making sure that you have a website that people are going to want to actually click on and access. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to click. I'm going to check domain. I know that's going to be available because let's be real, no one's going to have a domain like that. Um, and then now I've got some options in terms of the registration. I can choose how long I'm going to register this domain for. So it starts off at two years, uh, but I could, for example, opt for one year. Uh, and then, or I could opt for more than that. I could opt for 10 years, you know, and everything in between. In my case, I'm just going to offer one year. Then I'm going to click register domain. So now I'm at the basket and I can see that, for example, that I'm, I'm getting this domain registration first year free. Make sure you check what is actually included as a part of the package. In my case right now, I'm getting this domain first year for free. I'm then going to click continue to check out and just confirm all the details. Make sure they're all correct and make sure that you know what you're paying for. And then you can confirm that you've read the terms and conditions again. And again, I just make sure you have done that. And then you can click confirm and pay. And this time, I'm not going to type in a domain name here. I'm going to choose a domain that I've already registered in my account. And as you can see, I've actually got a much more suitable domain name already in my account, which is fhtechtips-wordpress.co.uk. Again, doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but I think it's a bit better than what I had before. So I'm going to use selected domain, and now it's going to start building that WordPress website for me in the background. So now that WordPress package is set up correctly, we are now taken through to the wizard. If you didn't get a link to come here, or if it hasn't taken you through automatically, you can very easily get to this point by going back into your dashboard, going to the WordPress hosting package space so you can see all of the packages you have. And you'll be able to see here that your website has already started building. Now, something is showing here, and that is just a default template, and that might be influenced by caching, so don't worry too much about what you're seeing there. But what we can do is click on this arrow to go through to the WordPress hosting management page. So this is the package management where you can have a look at all of the different settings that are available to you, including your hosting settings, performance, web space, etc. Not that I'm going to get into that right now. But what we can do is click on WordPress admin. And by clicking on WordPress admin, if this is the first time you've done that for a new WordPress package, you will be taken through to the FASOS assistant. And this is how you can start to build your FASOS WordPress package. Now, if you know what you're doing with WordPress, then don't worry, you don't have to go through this wizard. If you already have an idea of what you want from your WordPress site, you can simply just configure this yourself and you don't have to go through the wizard that's gonna do it for you. But if not, and you want a bit of help and you wanna be at a starting point where you can very easily start to build your own website, I would recommend following this wizard. So let's click, let's go. The first thing it's gonna ask you is, what kind of website do you wanna build? And there are a range of options here. In my case, I'm thinking maybe a gallery would be the best bet for me. So if I click gallery, what that's gonna do is it's gonna find themes that correlate to a gallery layout. And there's a range of options here. So if we have a look through, let's find something that looks, looks like it'll work for me. This looks quite good, this photo perfect one. So let's click on that to get the theme details. And here we are, it's gonna give me some details about this theme. So it's telling me it's a responsive photography WordPress theme and it's designed for photographers, photo bloggers, etc. So that's fine. It's, it's also very easy to customize, which is very useful for a WordPress site, so that's good. And what I can also do is click the theme preview to see what it's going to look like when I apply this to my website. So you can see that there's a, a range of dynamic elements that's been included, so that's very cool. It's a very nice banner page, so we can customize that and put in the images we want there as well. So yeah, this is going to work, I think. I think, I think, I think this is going to be the one for me. So. Great, I'm now going to click next step. And here we can see 
some plugins that are recommended to apply to a WordPress website. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got. The first thing on the top left is Jetpack. And if you've worked with WordPress at all, then Jetpack is a name that will be familiar to you. But it's basically an all-in-one toolkit for WordPress for security backups, speed, growth, etc. It's It's very, very useful. A lot of websites use Jetpack. I'm going to include it. I'm also going to include embed privacy. I think that's going to be useful. And I'm going to include the fastest performance, which basically is using caching to store HTML content generated by WordPress and just help to speed everything up a little bit. I'm going to leave it at that, but I would definitely recommend you go through all of these plugins and look at the description and see if this is going to be important for the kind of site you're going to be making. Let's click next step. And now it's going to take us through to the summary. So it's telling us what theme we selected and how it's going to look. And it's also told me the plugins that are going to be installed. Now, obviously, it's going to include the ones that I selected myself. So uh, Jetpack, Image Privacy and Fastless Performance, which is fantastic. There's also some default plugins that are always going to be included, like Contact Form, Drag and Drop Form Builder for WordPress, Monster Insights, etc. None of this is final. None of this is permanent. If there is something here that you've added and now you realize, oh, no, I don't want that. Maybe there was another theme I was looking for. Maybe there's other plugins that I want to replace these with. None of this is set in stone. None of this is permanent. You can edit all of this within the standard WordPress interface. So don't panic. You are not stuck by making these decisions. You can change these at a later date. I'm going to click install and get this going. And there we go. It's taking me through to the WordPress dashboard. So this is where you would start to manage your own WordPress website. If you just started from scratch with nothing, you hadn't used the wizard, you'd be taken through to this exact same page, but you wouldn't have any of these plugins. You'd have had to go through and install those yourself. So I'm not going to go into massive detail for the next steps now on building your WordPress website, but we will be doing a video in the future on how to get started with your WordPress website, how to make sure you're on the right track and start building out your own content. What I will do, though, is show you the site as it is right now, having just implemented a template, and that is it, and also all the plugins. So you can see here that we have our dynamic content here. It's only giving me one of those because it's not filled everything out for me. That means I can add my own stuff in later. And also it's giving me the layout that I actually asked for in that theme. So this is really good. Also a category button up here. So this, that's kind of like a drop down menu, which is very cool. And we have a return to top button that appears here as well, all part of the theme. So there we go. I've shown you from scratch how to register a new domain name and also how to use an existing domain name to register and start a new WordPress website and how to go through the wizard to actually make sure that you're starting off on the right foot. I hope that's helped and bye for now.